What's up everyone, Andrew Bain here, and on today's video, we are taking a look at the beautiful PRS Custom 24 in an Ariza green finish. This has an absolutely stunning tin top, which just looks insane. So figured, so 3D, it looks absolutely beautiful. And of course, it's in the best color you can possibly get on a guitar finish, so I had to try it out. I wanna give a massive thank you to my friend, Eric Moretton, for letting me borrow this guitar. Eric has been on a few of my videos in the past, but you should definitely go check out his YouTube channel. It's gonna be linked in the pinned comment and the description below. Before we get onto the full demo mix, I also wanna mention that my band, Carcosa, is releasing these brand new hoodies, as well as some other merch today, which you can see on the screen. They are absolutely ridiculous. Cotton candy swirl with holographic prints as you can see there it changes depending on the lighting looks completely insane so if you're into this or my band go check it out these are definitely going to sell out those are also going to be linked in the pinned comment and the description below so prs is a brand i've somehow never had on my channel before i don't really know why but i've never owned a prs guitar in my life before i've only tried them here or there at music stores locally but in my opinion that's never the same as getting to take one home and try it out for yourself especially definitely not one that's this fancy because these ones are quite pricey so yeah i've never really jived with them personally when i've played them at music stores because you know you're not plugged into your own gear you're not in the tuning you want the list goes on so it's really nice to be able to bring one home and try it out through my own setup so speaking of setup as with all of my gear demo videos, what I like to do first is show you how the guitar sounds in a full demo mix, and then we're gonna go over all the specs and information about the guitar, and then some soloed tone clips, and then last but not least, my thoughts on the instrument. So for this demo track, I am tuned down to drop A sharp, and I'm using a variety of neural DSP plugins for various tones. This is how the guitar sounds in a full demo mix. Okay, so now with the demo mix out of the way, I'm gonna talk about the specs and features of this instrument before we get on to the individual tone clips. So despite how fancy this guitar looks, the specs are actually pretty simple. We'll start with the body of the guitar, which is a mahogany body, which also looks very nice on the back. It kind of has this really nice, um, like, ambery glow to it, if you will. Kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but it looks super nice. Um, and then, of course, we have the ridiculous 10 top. It's called a 10 top because it's pretty much the fanciest top that PRS offers. This is, of course, a flame maple top, again, in that beautiful Ariza green finish. These don't normally come with these pickups, but this one in particular has bare knuckle pickup aftermaths in both the bridge and neck position. As for electronics, of course, we have the five way pickup selector and then a volume and a tone knob, pretty standard stuff there. Moving on to the neck, it is also in that same mahogany as the body. It's a set neck finish, so not a bolt on or neck through. Rosewood fretboard with the, of course, beautiful mother of pearl inlays, which are the standard PRS bird inlays, which always look really, really cool. And then last but not least on the headstock, we got some locking tuners, which are proprietary to PRS. So that's pretty much it in terms of the specs of this guitar. Like I said, it's nothing too crazy but the standout feature is definitely that ridiculous top which I keep gushing over. Ew, gushing, that sounds disgusting. Anyways, and yeah, as you can see by looking at the side profile, this top is ridiculously thick. Where this natural binding ends is actually how thick the top is which is way thicker than normal. So, you know, most guitars, at least in the lower range especially, tend to just have like a veneer, which is like a super, super thin like paper coating. Sometimes it's even just paint that's applied to make it look like it's a flame maple top. But this is definitely the real deal and it is super thick and very, very fancy looking. If my camera will focus, there we go. 
Okay, so next up we're gonna move on to some solo clips of how the instrument sounds. Again, going through that demo track from the beginning, just soloing the guitars, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so now with that out of the way, the last thing to talk about is my thoughts on the instrument. So I feel kind of spoiled because my first real PRS experience was basically one of the best you can possibly get. So it would be very hard for me to tell you that I don't like this thing because obviously I do, and I would hope I do for the amount of money that one of these things costs. But yeah, it definitely holds up. Like I was kind of saying in the beginning of this video, there's something about PRS that every time I've tried one at a music store has never really connected to me, and I don't really know what it is about them that doesn't usually draw me in, or at least hasn't drawn me in enough in the past to want to buy one for myself. I don't know if it's because I was playing the cheaper uh, import models, like I would imagine that those are definitely way lower quality than this, because this is of course one of the American made ones. Um, also, it might be because the pickups are bare knuckle pickup aftermaths, which are a little bit more towards my taste because I think a lot of the PRS guitars have less metal oriented pickups. Of course, you know, there are some exceptions like the um, the uh, mark from periphery signature and stuff like that but but with all that being said this one feels and sounds absolutely amazing and of course i think a big part of why i like it so much is definitely the looks you're paying a lot extra for that premium top on this and in my opinion if you're into aesthetics it's totally worth it prs always have such fucking awesome tops on their guitars and this one is no exception. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this guitar and maybe if you want to see me do more PRS guitars on this channel, maybe I can find a connection over at that company and see if they want to send something my way for another demo or something like that. And if you have any other brands that you would like to see me do demo videos of, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to do more of these because I always like playing new guitars. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Once again, a big thank you to my friend Eric for letting me borrow this guitar. Definitely go check out his channel. Once again, if you're interested in this hoodie or some other merch, go check out my band Carcosa's web store. That's going to be linked in the pinned comment and the description. That's all I got to say. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.